What's going on guys? If you are interested in the Steiner MPS, you are most certainly going to want to watch this video before you purchase one of these things. Because there is some important information that you need to know that they do not disclose to you. And it's borderline false advertising at this point. This is actually the second video that I've done on this optic. The first video you will no longer find on my channel because I actually just deleted it due to, at this point, the egregious misleading advice that I was giving on it. Uh, not by a fault of my own, but just by my initial impressions of this optic and from taking what the company said themselves uh, as fact. However, there is something you're going to want to know about this optic. Uh, from that video and even some other videos that I've made since then, I've praised this optic for its lens clarity, its dot quality, uh, its ruggedness, its looks, uh, the fantastic controls. Uh, overall, the mounting platform is fantastic. This optic seemed like they hit the ball out of the park with this thing, and I was just thoroughly impressed. However, come to find out, that video was made about a month ago. And yesterday, I picked up my carry gun, and I went to look through the optic and do a little bit of drawing and dry firing as I normally do. And I noticed that my optic was blinking. The actual red dot was blinking. And I look in the manual and I don't see anything on that. So I search online and that blinking means that this dot is low on battery. Yes, it's low on battery after only one month of ownership. So I actually emailed Steiner themselves and I asked them uh, could I have gotten a bad battery or is this optic actually defective because they claim that this optic will last 13,000 hours which is about one and a half years and they market this optic for duty and personal defense uh, as a serious grade optic and it priced the same as a serious grade optic at between $450 and $550 street price. Uh, this is a top tier premium optic that we're dealing with here uh, with equal marketing. And they actually emailed me back saying that's perfectly normal that after one month the battery will be dead. <laughs> and uh, much to my confusion, I actually emailed them back. I'm like, what do you mean? You guys recommend 13,000 hours. I didn't even have this thing on the uh, brightest setting. And uh, come to find out, they sent me an actual brightness to battery life list. And this list is as follows. This site has eight brightness settings, technically. That's also, I mean, their marketing to this point is basically false advertising. Uh, and it's, it's that egregious of an issue. So we have their brightness settings. They say eight. Uh, but that is only the case if you have the auto turn off of 13 hours uh, activated. So if you take the auto turn off off, which you have to for an actual duty grade optic, take the auto turn off. Uh, you have to disable that because you're not going to have a carry gun that turns off randomly after 13 hours. Uh, such an awkward time frame that is as well. But uh, on setting 8, if you were to have this on setting 8, this optic will only last 10 days. That's the battery life. If you had it on brightness 7, which is the actual brightest setting, when you have this optic with the auto off feature disabled, it actually decreases the maximum brightness to seven for quote unquote to save battery life. Uh, now on brightness setting, this optic is only gonna last 30 days according to Steiner. Now you might say to yourself, well, you had it on the brightest setting then and that's why it lasted a month. Um, this is the brightest setting. Uh, right here. So if I hit up, that is the brightest setting right there. That is setting seven because I do have the auto feature, auto off feature off. That is our brightest setting. This is what I had it on, which is one click down, and that would be brightness setting six to them. 
That is supposed to give you 125 days of battery life. I did not get 125 days of battery life. And even at that, that is abysmal performance for a red dot optic slated for duty use and personal defense uh, on brightness setting six. Now, let me tell you exactly why that is because brightness setting six is not very bright. This is the dimmest that you could see outside bright brightness level, level six. If you go down to five, you can't even see it in my room. This is my house with normal lighting. You can barely see this dot. So this optic has two usable daylight bright settings, six and seven, and both of those have less than a four month battery life, or for me, less than a 30 day battery life. So if you want this optic to work during the day and you ever go outside ever or have lights on in your house, this optic is no more than a range toy optic. Uh, you can pay $100 and get an optic of equal battery life and equal performance to this $550 optic from Steiner. That is absurd. Now, let me show you where they say you get your 13,000 hours of battery life. So here's seven, there's six, and here's five. This is where you'll get 13,000 hours of battery life. You can't even use it during the day inside with normal lighting on. And then level four is where you will get uh, 50,000 hours. That is where every other optic in this category will place their optic battery life uh, numbers. They'll all say about 50,000 hours. Uh, this optic is on, believe it or not. Uh, you can't see it, but it is on. If I push the button, there's our 13,000 hour battery life. You barely can see it. I promise the optic's on. And there's level six where you'll get uh, 30 to 120 days of battery life. And seven, the actual daylight bright setting where you'll get 30 days or less of battery life with the Steiner MPS. And if you ever were to put it on level eight, I'm sure you'd get about a day or two worth of battery life out of the Steiner MPS. This is atrocious. This optic is not worthy of being on a real gun, maybe an airsoft gun, but this is uh, outright egregious uh, false advertising in my opinion. This optic is not ready to be released. If this optic has such bad battery life, uh, put a 2032 instead of a 1632 in this. There's no reason why they couldn't do that at all. The battery life, uh, the battery compartment is right here on top. They could just make this bigger uh, to accommodate a 2032. Since this is so abysmal, it should have shake awake at that point. This is so abysmal. Let me just show you guys a couple optics right here we have my infinity custom infinity 1911 well 2011 uh, i made a video on this two years ago actually march of 2021 this is the exact same red dot in march of 2021 i have never changed this red dot i have never taken it off this is they actually installed this from the factory when I sent it to them, they zeroed it and installed it. I've never touched it ever since. Um, it is still on. That was two years ago. <laughs> this thing has just been on. And since I don't carry it daily, I don't worry myself with uh, checking the battery and changing the battery. And since it was zeroed so well from the factory, uh, I never wanted to remove it. And so, this battery is still running strong at a setting where you'll only get 30 to 100 days of power from a Steiner MPS. I don't care if it's enclosed. I don't care what you can tout as the reason for this existing. Th this is outrageous uh, as far as the difference in performance you're going to get for an equally priced optic. Now... Let's bring in this gun. I've had this optic on this gun forever. Uh, it has to be over three years. Uh, I also don't carry this gun regularly. 
So whenever I do carry it, I'll just look and see if the dot is on. The dot is on. Good enough for me. <laughs> so this is a Hollow Sun 508T, I believe. Uh, green. So this is their titanium Hollow Sun 508T running on three years of battery life right now. Uh, it'll even run without a battery if I take the battery out because it has solar panels in it. Th this is outrageous for a three-year battery life then we have two-year battery life and we have a brand new battery and a 30-day old optic that is just unacceptable uh, I think it's actually borderline negligent to release this to the public advertise for duty and self-defense uh, honestly it's, it's to that point where this thing is just not ready for public use and they need to go back to the drawing board. They honestly should recall these things. <laughs> that is horrendous to advertise this thing for actual use in self-defense and duty. So guys, uh, do not buy a Steiner MPS uh, for any reason. That is my recommendation. There are far better optics made by this company right here, Holosun. They make the EPS, the EPS Carry and the 509 uh, that are in all enclosed, equally competing with this thing. Trigicon just released an enclosed optic that will most certainly get uh, around 10 to 30 times the battery life that this will uh, for a cheaper equal price uh, for both of these optics, these competitors. You just cannot compare the performance with this to a real duty grade optic. Guys, definitely make a pass on the Gen 1 Steiner MPS. Uh, this is a uh, sincere warning against purchasing this optic. Uh, there are far better options out there that are actually good for self-defense. This is not one of them. All right, guys, see you later.